let's start uh, importing these uh, renders in After Effects. So open After Effects and uh, import file and then select the first frame and make sure that you have checked this import uh, JPG sequence and then click on import. Once you have import, uh, it is important to tell After Effects that this sequence was rendered on 25 frame per second. So set that um, in the interpret footage main and then 25 because we have rendered uh, this sequence on 25 frame per second. So now uh, click a new composition by dragging it here. As you can see, now we have this sequence in After Effects. So you can run it, go through it, and it looks good. All right. Import that depth map as well. Select the first frame. Make sure you have checked this import JPG sequence. Click on import, and again. Um, correct the frame rate which is 25 now we have uh, the main sequence uh, of the images which we are going to use now one thing that you might think like uh, for the camera tracking why not we just track uh, this sequence uh, by using the animation and uh, track camera well you can do it if your scene is not complex right uh, because from Lumion in uh, high quality settings you may have some water in it you may have some grass in it you may have some you know trees uh, where the leaves are uh, you know moving in the wind so it may uh, not track correctly uh, in After Effects and I'm talking about the complex scenes uh, let's say this this scene this uh, might be tracked easily in uh, uh, direct uh, camera tracking in After Effects but we are not using that because that's uh, a complex thing it will take uh, more time uh, to track the scene and uh, it, it may not track at all right because of some reflections because of some water uh, because of many things so this is uh, what uh, uh, we are going to know in this tutorial like how to track easily uh, the scenes from Lumion and this is the, the the main you know emphasis so let's not track this scene directly here okay to track let's do something which actually makes the tracking simpler for After Effects right at least that we can do so to do that we need to understand that Lumion has layer system you see in the top left corner we have layer 1 2 3 4 5 and we can add as many layers as we would like so what what we are going to use um, uh, these layers for so layers are the uh, um, these actually works like uh, in in Photoshop you have the layers in Photoshop you select the layer on which you want to do something and then uh, do the actions and those actions will be applied to that layer only right so in this scene if you see everything that we created is in, in inside the layer one if I turn it off everything just hides away right and if I turn it on everything goes back so you can let me uh, show you one example simple example so if you have um, let's say fourth layer selected now if you click on the number that layer is selected all right so now we are in fourth layer so if I create anything here this object will be created in fourth layer and not in first layer so if I uh, turn off fourth layer only this object will go away right I will turn it on and I can turn off the first layer and I can work on it like this see so this is how layers work in Lumion so let me turn it on again and again if you would like to move some object to one layer to another that's also very simple you just have to select that object and 
when you move the mouse on any layer you will see this button so this button will what it will do is uh, it will move the selected object inside that layer so i will uh, let's say i want to move this uh, boat in layer 1 and not in layer 4 so i will click on first layer and then i will see this uh, button move selection to layer i will click on it and this object is now in first layer not in fourth so i can turn off fourth layer but i will see this object because this object is now in layer 1 if i turn off layer 1 it will also hide okay so this is how we move objects from one layer to another uh, let's delete it now you know the layer system let's use it now so until now we have one camera animation in our lumion scene see that we created and that we rendered so let's not change anything and click on layer 4 i have used second and third layer already but uh, let me show you how we are going to uh, do this so let's click on layer 4 and now what uh, we are going to do is now we must know what we are going to do with this so our ultimate target is to place uh, our compositing uh, the dancing character inside this balcony right inside this balcony and outside wherever we want so what we want to create is in layer 4 let's create few things which will make the camera tracking simpler okay let's uh, check in the uh, outdoor thing or maybe indoor let's click on there and then select something that goes on the ground well um, we have some books here you will know uh, in a minute why we are doing this just hold on let's say this uh, rug all right i click here and i will just put this rug here all right make sure that the level of this rug is same as the uh, floor level so just click shift and move it downward and now it's almost there right so we have placed this drug here let's put more objects uh, let's say this poster click on the wall S um, make sure that you are still in layer 4 if I turn off layer 4 everything goes off so we are just working in layer 4 and putting some very simple simple objects and very simple because these objects will be used to track this scene instead of the original scene we are going to use these things to track to make the tracking simpler all right so now you have the location where you want to put uh, your composited uh, characters and the location is marked now let's turn off the first layer and now we only have this simple layer and if you see in the movie section we still have that camera animation there and you see we just have this scene so guys this is really a special thing that you just learned we are not using the actual scene to track the camera but we are using a different layer with very simple objects to track this scene right so let's create more objects like this and uh, let me do a favor and uh, turn on third layer where I click where I created oh, everything for you right while I created this tutorial I have created these many things so our scene is actually this the the camera tracking information should come from this and not that complex scene here everything is very simple anything is not moving at all like the leaves like the water like the reflections nothing it is very simple scene right very simple and now if you go to the movie the camera is same and we have this very simple scene and again uh, we don't want to render it in full settings right so turn off everything 
every effect because you don't need it you just need this scene for the camera tracking purpose so we have turned off everything and we have only this scene remaining now now let's render it out okay click on the render clip again in the image sequence just select the first only one star because we don't want any quality here we are not going to show this anywhere we are just going to use this scene for the camera tracking only the frame rate must be 25 because main scene is 25 let's turn off the depth map because we don't need any depth map there all frames let's check it and then click on the full HD button again to render these things and then render out and let's uh, say these things as camera all right because we are going to use these uh, this sequence of images to track the camera so uh, let's name it camera and save it so this will render out so fast because we don't have any effect it on it uh, and it is rendering with the minimum quality right so let's cancel it out and I have already rendered this and let's import that as well in the after effects so now if you move down I have camera sequence here that I have just imported again uh, right click interpret main and fix the frame rate now put it in the sequence that you created now we have this scene which is very simple to track and this scene so if you want to see we can just turn down opacity a bit because both of these scene will move in the same speed because they both belong to same scene it's just the layer that we have rendered right you are getting the idea all right so make it full visible and now we are we can use the camera track feature which will simply track it um, easily actually and uh, give us uh, a good camera for this scene congratulations you have just tracked the camera here and if you see everything goes well thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel for more such tutorials